via Zoom. Governor Manoto, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Can you tell us um, w w uh, the damage assessment in your province? Good evening, Paul. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, good evening to all of our viewers. Uh, well, currently, uh, the initial uh, damage reports are uh, over 46 million. Uh, this is uh, mostly for infrastructure. Uh, we've had uh, three totally damaged houses. Pumunta po kanina sa Badok, our southern border town, uh, to one uh, totally demolished house. At uh, my 71 po uh, partially damaged. Uh, 63 uh, injured uh, people, uh, but thankfully uh, no casualties po. And uh, talagang uh, napakasakit po nito as uh, we are still reeling from the uh, damages and effects of Typhoon uh, Neneng na talagang grabe po sa amin. Uh, in fact, uh, probably the most agri damages that uh, uh, I have seen under my, uh, you know, now I'm in my second term. Uh, that, uh, we had uh, over 180 million pesos in agri damages uh, Neneng, which of course we're still trying to recover from, as mentioned. Chaka, uh, 1.2 billion po ang um, infra uh, po namin sa typhoon Neneng. So talagang uh, uh, we uh, we have not fully recovered from a typhoon, and uh, ito na po itong uh, earthquake last night, and uh, it seems like this Saturday may uh, isa pa pong typhoon uh, that we are already uh, bracing for. That's right. For, uh, mula Bagyo, Lindol, tapos isa pang Bagyo. Governor Matthew, uh, first, uh, itong 63 na injured, what towns are we uh, talking about here and what uh, uh, what kind of injuries? Uh, mostly uh, either, you know, objects ay uh, nahulog po no? uh, sa kanila, uh, mga cuts, mostly mga minor, thankfully. Uh, we had two uh, construction workers na uh, I think uh, are under observation para sa mga fracture. No? Kasi actually, uh, nagkatrabaho po sila ng 11 p.m. They were up, up uh, you know, on the, the building that was being uh, that's being erected. Uh, malapit po sa capital, actually, uh, proyekto po namin. And, uh, what, what building we, is this, Governor? Our hospital. What building is this? Sorry? What, what building is this? Uh, this is the uh, Dapayan, which is uh, nearby um our provincial capital and uh we are putting uh, we are renovating this to be a uh mixed uh, use uh commercial complex so maging uh lugar po, uh, office mm. space for some mga ngas that's uh uh mga private uh, businesses then po. all right so 1.2 billion infra damages <clears throat> from typhoon neneng uh, alone and then you have uh, uh, 46 million, you said 46 million worth of uh, uh, damage also, right? For Because of this, uh, dahil sa lindol na ito. Opo, and this is just uh, initial kasi siyempre first day pa po. Um, you know, uh, as you know, uh, sa mga disaster, uh, it takes a few days, no? At uh, sadly, um, the numbers keep rising no? mm -hmm. as, as time passes. Uh, mm -hmm. Galing din po ako sa uh, Mariana Marcos Memorial Hospital, uh, a, our DOH uh, flagship hospital in the province, and uh, they actually suffered the worst uh, infra damages that I've seen. No, uh, ang ICU bodila, uh, you know, was completely uh, wrecked. At uh, ang, ang initial estimate po nila ay 20 million uh, worth of damages, and uh, of course, uh, though this is a DOH. Hospital, siempre. Uh, ito po ay uh, ang pinaka magandang hospital sa aming probinsya. So even if it's not under my watch, uh, we really partner with them in ensuring na you know uh, quality ang healthcare po namin dito sa probinsya. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in terms of uh, yung six, kanina sabi niyo na no, 63 injured, but pero minor uh, injuries. Uh, what about uh, roads, bridges? So walang uh, you know there are no places. No towns or barangays that are cut off uh, because uh, may damage, severe damage to roads and bridges. Uh, actually, there are uh, two barangays in Pagudpud, uh, Panchan, and Pasaleng, the northern um, barangays. Um, 
it, they're actually quite known uh, for uh, tourism, Panchan and Pasaleng. Uh, they're after the Patapat Viaduct, mm. and uh, the national road there has uh, uh, been uh, covered uh, and destroyed by a landslide. Uh, talagang uh, noong pa nangyayari kaya uh, kausap na po namin si Sec. Manny Bonwan to uh, a fellow Ilocano uh, to help us naman kasi sabi ko po sa niya na you know we need a long term solution because uh, this keeps happening and uh, uh, that uh, area becomes isolated hindi lang po ang dalawang barangay sa northern Pagudpud pati rin po ang maliit na munisipyo uh, composed of primarily indigenous pe peoples in the municipality of Adams, which mm. they have been uh, isolated for about 10 days now. So we've been working day and night. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, the AFP, uh, the Coast Guard, and everyone. Umakit po sila ng bundok para magdala ng supplies. And when I say bundok, I don't just mean one bundok. Uh, if you've been to the municipality of Adams, it is... Uh, incredibly far and uh, hard to get to. Uh, they even uh, brought a uh, patient down the mountain. Uh, I think it probably took several hours because uh, critical po ang uh, status niya, but we were able to um, secure her help. Mm -hmm. The effects uh, indeed of uh, all these uh, calamities that are happening. Um, Patapat Viaduct, of course, this is the uh, famous, very scenic uh, road, right? That, that um, uh, leads there is that uh, uh, in the in the far the farthest nor northernmost part of the province right right uh, Patapat viaduct is a uh, tourist destination uh, known because it's kind of a road uh, floating kumbaga over the uh, mm -hmm. coast uh, very scenic at uh, well uh, DPWH uh, has plans to actually continue that sort of um, uh, infrastructure uh, to hopefully solve it. The problem po namin sa Barangay Panchan sa Pagudpud. Uh, of course, uh, Pagudpud is the crown jewel of our tourism, with right. uh, South Beach being named uh, one of the 25 uh, most beautiful beaches in the world by Travel and Leisure. So, mm. uh, you know, this does not pose a threat, of course, to Saud, which is further south. But uh, you know, these these. Uh, beaches and bays in Panchan and Pasalik are uh, quite beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. Just when uh, we're emerging from this pandemic. Ilocos Norte Governor Matthew Manoto, thank you very much for being with us tonight. Ingat po kayo dyan.